at East Coast Radio, we are celebrating 20 years of democracy. Uh, when I think of democracy, my mind flashes to a crowded common room at boarding school where a whole lot of excited schoolgirls gathered around a TV screen uh, to see the release of our beloved late Tata. And there was definitely an element in the air that change was upon us. I feel very blessed that I've been uh, the type of uh, kind of hippie child, esoteric uh, person that has never really been governed by race, colour or creed, but more giving people the, the benefit of their doubt and uh, kind of judging someone's behaviour on their actions opposed to their skin colour. I looked at Tata for this, you know, when I think of Nelson Mandela, I think of his quirky sensibility, uh, the way he used to, you know, do the Madiba shuffle and his awesome dress attire. Of course, his love and his compassion for people and his forgiveness. I mean, I think that's the big thing that really resonates with me. When I think about democracy, I think about how we meet, need to be more compassionate and more loving to people that we meet in every day and give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, you know, standing in the, in the line to, to vote, uh, people across the color bar, just, you know, different people collecting and very joyous. I, I remember being very fulfilled with love and joy, you know, when I lined up and chatting to people and, oh, Shane, you're really old, you can come in front of me. Oh, you're also really old. Okay, you can also come in front of me. And busloads of all these elderly folk and people very willingly saying, come on, you go, you go and vote, you go and cast your vote. Uh, of course, also thinking about Tata holding up that World Cup trophy, you know, flanked by Francois Pinar, holding that big glitzy glam trophy above his head uh, in a Springbok jersey and just feeling really proud to be unified and to call myself South African. So happy 20 years of democracy and uh, be kind.